What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, your host with the most. Your boy, Doug Q, is in the building, and I'm here to talk about it. Let's get into it as we do. Optimism for any Carolina Panther watching this video for 2024. What should your level be on a scale of 1 to 10? How high or how low should you be with this new regime of Dan Morgan, Dave Canales, and the new crew coming in to usher in a new regime? Well, let's jump into it as we do. Before we do, make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe. You already see what time it is. We're gonna get, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna keep it real too. Number one thing is, is the Carolina Panthers are in a new regime once again. We just did this previously with Frank Wright. So if you're watching this video and you're saying, hey, uh, how optimistic should I be? Well, number one, you got Frank Wright up out of the building. I was never high on Frank Wright. I did not believe in him, nor that uh, Avengers culture staff that we had here. So I believe that it was going to be too many hands in the pot anyway. So thank God that we had a chance to really see what that was what that was about. Really understand how much of a mess that is and understand that a new coach coming in needs to establish his own role, his own uh, his own set of guys and his own regime. That way everybody can be on the same page. Number one, that has been established by Dave Canales. He has all his guys in the building and hopefully our owner David Tepper does not meddle or interfere with anything that's going to be going on for this season. With that being said, we all understand that the new coach is going to have to meet with the David Tepper weekly. So hopefully, once again, your influence does not overshadow the decisions that a new head coach needs to make. Number one, we cannot have that in 20, 2024. So David Tepper, if you want to do anything, sit your ass down. Just me being honest. To anybody who's watching this, I'm just being honest. He needs to sit down and get out the way. Can he do it? He probably won't. But I'm just saying my level of optimism for this year shall not be ruined by one David Tepper. Look, Bryce Young is our quarterback. They're going to invest in it. We have 30.6 million now uh, coming in with the new cap. I'm looking forward. This is a historic cap, an all-time high, 255 million. So at this point, we need to hit free agency, get some core centerpiece guys. And I know most, most of you guys are saying, what? You don't build a team through free agency. The Carolina Panthers are going to have to buy a lot of guys, being that they don't have a bevy of draft picks. So with that being said, you're going to have to enter free agency, whether that's defensively or offensively, get some core guys in this building that could help turn this thing around. If the Carolina Panthers don't look to get a guard in the draft, which I believe they should, they should target also another guard in free agency to come in here and try to give us some type of a of a known commodity that we have seen on the NFL level. That way we can rest assured that at least one side of the offensive line could be, you know, a staple. Austin Corbett is out. He has a, he had an ACL and an MCL. So I really don't expect him to really touch the field anymore this year. And this is the last year his contract is. So I'm basically saying or thinking he might be potentially done. So with that being said, you got to make sure that you upgrade the guard position. Chandler Savala was taken. You got Cade Mays. I'm thinking that even Brady Christensen, you need to upgrade from those three guys and get a core guy in here somehow, some way that you can have to really take this offensive line to the next level. Because we saw continuity when they were running the ball behind this line. So you got to get back to what does that, what you do best. And that's running the ball as well as opening things up with a little bit of play action. Uh, some type of read option. So you got to cater to the skills of the team. Let's create that. Let's get players that flourish in that as well. So also, like I said, the number one thing is, is you want to make sure that first and foremost, you go all the way in and give your guys help. One, that's established. Two, you got now the reins. GM is already set in. Dan Morgan is the guy. Tillis is the guy. You got your head coach and Canales is here. Everything is starting to align from the top to the bottom down. So to Panthers fans who made it to this point in the video, you should be at a level five right now on the number scale because it's like, I'm excited. 
But it's like, okay, I got to kind of wait to see what's next. But don't let that stall you out because to some of you guys who just heard what I just broke down, which is a new regime, got a new coach in, your GM is following, he is the guy. The GM has help on the financial side now. Your head coach, all he has to do is focus on his staff coming in and focus on the players getting through the building. Your GM just has to build his team to the strengths. And that is, like I said, some of y'all could be teetering at a level seven right now out of 10. So the optimism is, is don't, let's not jump in too quickly. Let's not run into this situation. Fives are completely where you should be at right now because going forward, until we see who they bring in, who potentially they target, whether it's offensive guard, offensive tackles, whether that's bringing in another edge rusher opposite of Brian Burns, maybe a corner or two that could help be a playmaker for this defense. You need another defensive lineman uh, to go on the line with Derek Brown to give him some help, as well as you need receivers and you need tight ends and running backs. So all this must be addressed. If all this is addressed and we thoroughly hit on guys, look, by the end of this video, by the time this video is playing before the beginning of the season, you should be at an optimism of an eight or a nine, which means that you could potentially come in here and win about five to six, seven games, maybe. And I know you're saying five, six, seven games. Well, you got to understand going from two and 15 to about six games to seven games is a major increase. And all you want to see in this new year is your quarterback get better. You want to see your team get better. You want to see a competent coaching staff. And you just want to see competent football being played in the Carolinas. Year one under Canales. Those are the most realistic expectations for the Carolina Panthers right now. Let's not put the cart before the horse. I would love to see us come out here and start competing in the division. But we have to pump the brakes. But... It's a reason to be happy, Carolina Panther fans. It looks like we're starting to trend upward. So if you're trending upward along with your boy, Doug Q, make sure you do us a favor, comment, like, subscribe. To everybody who's watching this video, use the number scale on where you should be at in the bottom of this video. How happy are you potentially heading forward for the Carolina Panthers? Looking at this, what we could be doing, looking at the regime, looking at the coaching staff, looking at the direction, how happy are you right now? Put it in the chat at the bottom. Make sure you do us the illustrious favor. Subscribe to the channel. Come on in here, man. It's time to get this thing back on board. I'm your host, Doug Q, and I want to see y'all boys pull up on me, man, and show me that love. Come on in here, man.